So I just did uh, my first pass with the hone. As you can tell, this one is done. And the other two aren't yet. So we got rid of the upper lip. But I am thinking that we need more of a cross pattern. So next pass is going to go slower and move up and down a bit more. So this isn't a ball hone, this is the hone with the stones. Um, it's the first time I'm trying it. So I'll put you guys in the stand and then uh, you can follow along. So let's try again. So we got some WD-40. We'll spray the inside of the cylinder walls. And we take the hone, compress it, like so. We go in, we'll check for the depth. So that's about the full depth I want to go. Take some more WD-40. Um, put it on a slower speed. Okay. Not quite there yet, as far as I can tell. Maybe loop some more. check it out now so first off you need to of course clean it thoroughly see so this is debris from the stone and of course metal shaving Do this a couple of times. So we have a lot more cross pattern. Yep, I think that's all right. Looks good. So there's still some discoloration on the top. Maybe if we zoom you can tell. Come on. You see, still the discoloration on the on the top of the cylinder wall there. But that's not a big deal. Uh, it feels a bit rough, yeah. The other one is maybe a tad smoother. Alright. But I think this is a good result. Pretty happy with that. So we continue. Uh, do the next one. So, okay, that's zoomed. There we go. Stones. Uh, maybe clean them a little bit. Don't know if it helps. Nope, shouldn't. Doesn't help at all. So squeeze them together, make sure they're flat. And you go on to the. Oh, I need to rotate my crankshaft so I have the maximum clearance. Yep so I don't touch it. Okay, take some more WD. Okay. 
go. So. Actually, it looks similar to the other one. I'm quite happy with that again. So I'm going to do a quick slow pass in the first one, just to make it look the same. I, I know it should look coarse, so... Okay. Some more lubrication. Clean towel. Yeah. So now we keep taking clean towels, or clean sides of the towel at least, until it comes out completely clean out of all three cylinders. So rather than using these blue shop towels, uh, I know of a YouTuber that may, takes uh, like large coffee filters because they don't uh, produce any lint or produce less lint. So that's a good tip as well if you have some. We don't, I don't drink coffee so I don't have coffee filters. So this is almost clean. One more pass. That's clean. Yeah, pretty clean. And also pretty clean. There we go. And that's the cylinders ready for their cleaned pistons with new piston rings. And then we can start the reassembly once I've changed over the uh, valve stem seals.